All right, start off by going to python.org downloads and then hit the big yellow button up in the top right, right click the download, hit open. And then before you hit install now, go down to the option at the bottom and select add python.exe to path, then hit install now. With Python installed, go to your computer's file explorer and usually under this PC, click on the C drive. Right click within the C drive folder and select create a new folder. Name this folder apps or something similar. Click into that apps folder and create a new folder. Right click new folder and name it something like first app. Then open up a text editor. For now, notepad is just fine, but copy the Python code from the description of this video into the new text file. In that text file, click File, Save As, and navigate into the C drive, your apps folder, and then first app folder. Give this file a file name of app.py and save as type all files. Hit save and then open up a new text file in Notepad and just type any text you want to see on your first web page. Click File save as give this a file name of index.html and save as type all files but don't save it directly into the first app folder right click in that first app folder go new new folder and create a templates subfolder next open up a command line interface on your computer you can search for cmd and all windows computers will have command prompt once that command line interface is open you can navigate back to the top folder the c drive by typing cd backspace and hitting enter and then from there type cd space apps to go into your apps folder and then cd space first app to go into your new project folder there is a little program we need to install to use a website with Python. It's called Flask and you can install it right here by typing pip space install space Flask. This will take a minute or two to install as well but once it's completed you can type the command to run your new Python app and that is python space app dot py and hit enter. Once it starts up, it will say it's running on your computer's loopback 127.0.0.1. Can hit control on your keyboard and click that address to open up the new web page in your browser. 